And welcome back everyone for divisional round week of the 2014-2015 NFL season. Once again, there's four games on the schedule this weekend, two on Saturday, two on Sunday. The first Saturday game has the Baltimore Ravens going to New England where the Patriots are seven point favorites at home and the total is 47 and a half. The Ravens have actually played the Patriots very tough in the last five years. They have a three and four record straight up, which is, is about as good as anyone in the NFL. They've also beaten the Patriots two out of three times in the, the playoffs. Most of the games have been close, except for last year when the Patriots routed Baltimore 41 to seven. But if you look at some of the games that Baltimore has played, the, their, the games that the teams that they've played uh, haven't been that impressive. In their last seven wins, they've played teams with a combined 35 and 77 record. Not one of those teams had a better than eight and eight record. And in their last five losses, the teams have had a combined record of 50, 29, and one. All of those teams have been nine and seven or better. New England's only real loss was back in week 13 in Green Bay. It was a close one, 26 to 20. They actually held the Packers to the lowest amount of points that Green Bay has scored all year. They, they did lose in week 17 against Buffalo, but they were resting most of their players. And they are well rested coming into this game and very healthy too, unlike other years. Gronkowski is healthy, uh, Will Fork is healthy. Also they have Daryl Rivas this year and he'll take away half the field and Bill Belichick will be able to concentrate on what uh, Baltimore does second best as opposed to first best. That's what he usually does when he schemes defensively. Here's my prediction for this game. The New England Patriots 41, the Baltimore Ravens 16. Take New England straight up, take the Patriots against the spread, and take the over 47 and a half. The second of the Saturday games has the Carolina Panthers going to Seattle where the champion Seahawks are 10 and a half point favorites at home and the number is 39 and a half. Both these teams are coming in hot right now. Carolina's won five straight. Their last loss was against my Minnesota Vikings when we blocked two punts and returned them for touchdowns. Meanwhile, the uh, champion Seahawks have won eight of uh, their last nine games. Their only loss was a close one in Kansas City. Everyone's going to be talking about how close these games have been. The last three games that these two teams have played, uh, they've been low scoring, very close games. Seattle has won all three. Uh, the scores were 16-12, 12 to 7 and 13 9 something like that but all three of the games were in Carolina now they go to Seattle and things are a lot tougher when you play in Seattle also for Carolina they're going to be missing defensive tackle star Latulele a uh, big part of their run defense that should help Marshawn Lynch run the ball I don't think this one is going to be that close here's my prediction for this game the Seattle Seahawks 26, the Carolina Panthers 9. Take Seattle straight up, take the Seahawks against the spread, and take under 39 and a half. The first of the Sunday games has the Dallas Cowboys going to Green Bay, where the Packers are six point favorites at home, and the over under number on that game is 53. Now the, the Cowboys are 8-0 on the road and the Packers are 8-0 at home so something has to give. This usually favors the home team. On the road Dallas has outscored their opponents roughly 35-24, to 24, uh, about 11 points. Meanwhile at home the, the Packers have outscored their opponents about 40-20 to 20, so again the, the, uh, the advantage goes to Green Bay. The big concern in this game is going to be the health of uh, Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers who's been hobbled by a, a, a sore calf but he has had two weeks to rest so he should be good to go. It's going to be very cold in Green Bay about 20-21 degrees not as cold as that ice bowl that these two teams played back in 67 but cold nonetheless. Of course Dallas plays in a dome and uh, to give you a, an idea of the last time Dallas played in, in the cold it was last year a yeah, game in in December in Chicago on Monday night. It was cold that game and, and the Bears beat uh, Dallas 45 to 28. Now keep in mind Dallas's defense is a lot better than last year. 
but Green Bay's defense is also a lot better than Chicago's last year, and they were near the bottom. Um, so again, the, the advantage goes to Green Bay. D despite the cold weather, there still should be a lot of scoring here. So here's my prediction for this game. The Green Bay Packers 37, the Dallas Cowboys 27. Take Green Bay straight up, take the Packers against the spread, and take over 53. And the fourth game has the Indianapolis Colts going to Denver where the Broncos are seven point favorites and the total in that game is 54. You know these two teams played back in week one. The Broncos won at home 31 to 24. A lot of people will be saying that this is a game that's going to be Pete Manning versus Andrew Luck but I don't think so. Manning has actually been bothered down the stretch with a, uh, a, a thigh injury I think it is and he's, he's thrown three touchdowns versus six interceptions in his last four games. You know, I think Luck is a better quarterback than Peyton Manning is, but Manning has a way better supporting cast, especially at running back where C.J. Anderson and Ronnie Hillman are way better than anything that the, uh, the Colts have to offer, and Bron the Broncos' defense is much, much better. In the end, I think Andrew Luck keeps it close, but my prediction is the Denver Broncos 30, the Indianapolis Colts 27. Take Denver straight up, take Indianapolis against the spread, and take over 54. Here's my let's take the man's money parlay play. We'll be taking all four games against the spread and over under. We'll take New England minus seven, Seattle minus 10 and a half, Green Bay minus six, Indianapolis plus seven. And we'll take Baltimore, New England over 47 and a half, Carolina, Seattle under 39 and a half, Dallas, Green Bay over 53, Indianapolis, Denver over 54. A $25 bet will get you $4,431.84. Good luck. Okay, those are my picks for this week. Good luck, everyone. There's still a chance to vote for the Geo Knows Awards for the best prognosticators in five different categories. I'm going to leave the link below. I want you to make sure that you vote. We're, uh, the, so far, the turnout has been tremendous. We're going to have more voters this year than last year by far. Make sure, if you haven't voted, uh, to check the link below and go vote for the Geo Knows Awards. Okay, for the Geo Knows YouTube channel, I am Geo. Let's take the man's money.